The Iroquois called Lake Champlain Gonyal de Ligoa Lunet, the gateway to the country, while the Abenaki called it Patonbok, the lake between. Both names reflect a broad sense of geography and place. Flowing north from Lake George to the Richelieu River, through the high peaks of the Green and Adirondack Mountains, the lake allowed easy passage through challenging terrain. The name Ticonderoga is just as descriptive, translated as the place between two waters, Lake Champlain and Lake George. It was a critical carrying point for anyone using the lakes as a highway. This chain of lakes became a sort of superhighway of its time, facilitating trade and travel from the central Atlantic coast to the inland peoples. Native Americans, the early settlers, and the European and American military forces understood the importance of these waterways. By 1823, the Champlain Canal opened, linking the Hudson River and Lake Champlain. The final north-south link is the Chambly Canal. It takes boats around the rapids of the Richelieu River all the way to the St. Lawrence Seaway, the Great Lakes, and beyond. Every one of us, past and present, living along these waterways, shares a history shaped by this geography.